Welcome back. Even though we've had some drier weather this week on the Sun Coast, flooding on the Mayaka River is still a big problem. Many homeowners have been displaced with the rising river waters flooding some of their homes. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley is joining us from Venice with how these homeowners are coping now. Christopher. Good evening, Scott and Haley. And large parts of this neighborhood are still underwater. You can see behind me the Salvation Army Emergency Disaster Services are out here. They are serving a hot meal here to folks, many of whom do not have running water in their home. The Salvation Army has brought in bottled water and cleanup kits. And because of the lack of water, Sarasota County brought in toilet facilities as well. And the YMCA on Center Road has agreed to allow the residents to use their showers. It's really a, a whole county partnership with the community trying to get them through this event. It's not Houston, but it's bad for them. Our goal here is to just kind of comfort these folks, be here for them. If they have any issues, they can call 861-5000. These services are planning on being out here for the next several days. Now, the good news here is this. The river is decreasing. However, or I should say one resident told us today that he has seen a 10 inch drop in the water levels at his home, and that's just since this morning. Now, a lot of folks out here are saying that there is a cause to all of this flooding. Some are blaming a local developer who is building on what used to be wetlands. A homeowner we spoke to today but did not want to go on camera told us he's lived here for 18 years and has never seen such a dramatic rise in the river and flood zones. He believes because the development was built up on high ground, all of the water that might normally rest in that wetland has been forced out into the neighborhood. At least one local official agrees with that and is worried and may get worse over time. For example, the woods, which is just 100 yards or so in that direction, once that's built out, that will exacerbate flooding in this area. For now, the primary focus is getting things cleaned up out here. And as we go into a weekend that could potentially see more rain, some are out here are concerned that that extra rainfall may slow down the decreasing water levels of the Mayaka River. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Christopher. A Northport woman is accused of malnourishing and abandoning two dogs. A concerned neighbor called the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office about the dogs back on July 6th. When they arrived at the home on Moraldo Drive, they say they found these dogs confined to a lanai that was covered in urine and feces without access to food or water. Deputies took the dogs to a vet for evaluation and treatment. The boxer mix was emaciated, a pit bull mix was covered in fleas and missing patches of fur. After several weeks. Deputies located Kelsey Lewis in Port Charlotte. They, she told them that she had moved out of the house and didn't know who was caring for the dogs. Lewis is facing multiple counts of animal cruelty. A follow-up now on a Florida Supreme Court decision on the death penalty. Orlando Area State Attorney Arama Sayala says she will comply with the court's ruling and seek death penalty cases, but there is a caveat. Ayala now says a panel of her assistant state attorney will have to evaluate each first degree murder case in her district. It is my expectation that going forward, all first degree murder cases that occur in my ju jurisdiction here in the Ninth Circuit will remain in my office to be evaluated and prosecuted accordingly. Ayala had previously announced she would stop seeking the death penalty altogether, but Governor Scott reassigned the prosecution of 29 of her death penalty eligible cases to another state prosecutor. Yesterday, the state Supreme Court ruled that the governor was within his right to do that. And Governor Scott says the state's two economic development organizations should stop giving employees bonuses. Scott sent a letter to the boards that oversee Enterprise Florida and Visit Florida about these bonuses. Visit Florida promotes the state to tourists, while Enterprise Florida is responsible for trying to lure companies to the state. Both agencies receive millions of dollars from taxpayers, but they've used private donations to pay bonuses. Both organizations have come under fire in the past year for spending. SeaWorld is seeking a restraining order against three animal rights activists who dis disrupted a killer whale show at its San Diego park. Last month, a protest led by actor James Cromwell and PETA barged into the Orca Encounter Show to demand SeaWorld release its orcas. SeaWorld says the protesters were aggressive and one lashed out at a security guard. 
but PETA claims the Guard manhandled peaceful protesters. A uh, court will hold a hearing before deciding whether to grant that order. Live music, food vendors, activities for the kids, that's all happening right now in Lakewood Ranch. September 1st today, and that means it's time for Music on Main in Lakewood Ranch. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan joins us now live, live from Main Street with our first alert forecast. Bob. Well, we're doing great out here. I'll tell you what, all the bad weather has moved on. There hasn't been any here, obviously. Uh, things are looking good. So if you're watching right now at home, come on out, Lakewood Ranch. This is Music on Main. We have a great band tonight, Ocean's Eleven. Big band music are going to be playing. They've got a big setup right here. We'll be talking to the director in just a few minutes. They're testing out their instruments, making sure the audio is working properly. And we're testing out our radar to see if it's working. And it is. There's a storm well north of us. It's over Parrish, north, north Manatee County. Anywhere close to Lakewood Ranch continues to push off to the north and it looks like uh, not much else going on. There's a couple of storms well inland. I can actually see them from here, but those are many, many miles away east of the interstate and there's a lot of activity out in the Gulf, but that too is over 60 miles off in the Gulf. So nothing going on here and it looks like it'll stay that way through this evening. Temperatures are very warm, however. There is a little bit of a breeze uh, coming in out of the west, southwest, which uh, you would think keeps it cooler, but the dew point temperature is just so high. It doesn't know a whole lot of cooling you down. Well, much more in the tropics. Some better news, by the way, on Irma. We'll talk about Irma and another system in the Southwest Gulf coming up in a little bit. Back to you guys. Thank you, Bob. President Trump says his long-awaited decision on DACA could come as early as later today or this weekend. DACA is an Obama administration policy that allows undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children to stay and obtain work permits. As ABC's Janae Norman tells us, Trump's decision stands to possibly impact thousands of so-called dreamers. Surrounded by faith leaders after a prayer calling on God to bless all Americans, President Trump not saying whether he plans to cut the program that protects hundreds of thousands of undocumented immigrants. Sometime uh, today or over the weekend we'll have a decision. Nearly 800,000 so-called dreamers are protected under the 2012 executive order by President Obama, offering protection to those brought to the U.S. as children, granting young immigrants temporary permission to stay and work. We love the dreamers. We love everybody. But now that program and those dreamers are in jeopardy. Several state attorneys general threatening to sue the Trump administration to end DACA, forcing the president to make a decision by Tuesday. Leaders of some of the country's biggest businesses like Facebook, Apple, Amazon and Google urging the president to protect the program. And even big name Republicans, including House Speaker Paul Ryan and Senator Orrin Hatch, backing the push to preserve DACA. Senator Jeff Flake tweeting, Congress needs to take immediate action to protect DACA kids. As a candidate, Trump vowed to terminate DACA, calling the executive action by President Obama illegal amnesty. But he softened his tone since taking office. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. Gasoline prices keep rising amid continuing fears of shortages in Texas and several other states in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. In Dallas, drivers lined up at gas pumps yesterday as some stations ran out of fuel. AAA reporting the national average for a gallon of regular gas rose in one day from 2.45 Thursday to 2.52 today, a seven cent increase. At least two major pipelines, one that ships gasoline across the southern United States and to New York, and another that flows north to Chicago have been slowed or stopped because of flooding and damage. AAA reports gas prices rose at least 15 cents in 24 hours in Dallas, El Paso, Texas, and in Athens, Georgia. If you plan to take a long road trip this holiday weekend, law enforcement officials want to remind you to get enough rest and stop if you're tired. The Florida Highway Patrol says people should avoid driving during the hours they're normally sleeping, since most drowsy driving crashes involve someone falling asleep at the wheel and leaving the road without attempting to stop. They're among the most serious types of car accidents. According to FHP, driving while tired is as dangerous as any other form of distracted driving. Drowsy driving statistically is just as dangerous as intoxicated driving. Of course, we're going to be looking for intoxicated drivers this weekend as well, but we'll also look for those same driving behaviors from our drowsy drivers. There are many similarities between drowsy and drunk driving, including swerving between lanes, driving at erratic speeds, and the inability to focus on the road. Last year, 22 Floridians died in more than 4,500 car crashes as the result of drowsy driving. 
Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, how Volkswagen is trying to move past its emission scandal. What the automaker plans to do with the affected cars straight ahead. Hi, I'm Jeff Benninghoff, the general manager here at ABC7. This is an update for our local DirecTV subscribers. I'm pleased to let you know ABC7's carriage agreement with DirecTV has been temporarily extended, ensuring you will continue to receive this channel through Tuesday, September 5th. Our local commitment is all about putting the needs of our community first. As we all witness the devastation of Hurricane Harvey, we are reminded of the power and responsibility of local broadcasters to serve those in need. Raycom media teams in and around the affected region are providing local news coverage on every screen. And stations across our group are raising funds and awareness for relief efforts that will help the people in Texas and Louisiana recover and rebuild. In fact, thanks to generous viewers across the country, Raycom media stations have already raised more than $395,000 for Hurricane Harvey relief, with more efforts planned in the coming days. We are also devoting airtime to public service announcements and news mentions to drive donations and help make sure the storm victims get the help they need. That's why our parent company offered an extension to DirecTV and we are pleased they understand the importance of our local commitment and have accepted. Please continue to keep those impacted by Hurricane Harvey in your thoughts. We hope you have a happy, safe Labor Day weekend. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our Autumn Upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Being the caregiver for my husband is truly a blessing, but sometimes it's easy to lose a part of myself. To be my best, for him and for me, it's important to have time to be able to recharge. When I called Tidewell Hospice, they gave me the chance to do just that. They helped me find the time to care for myself, all the while with the peace of mind of knowing my husband is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything but with couch coat my couch is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now WWSB ABC7 is an equal opportunity employer, and we're looking for qualified people to join our dynamic team. For a list of current openings and to apply online, visit www.mysuncoast.com slash contact slash employment. If you're a motivated team player and you want a rewarding career in a fun, fast-paced working environment, WWSB ABC7 could be the perfect fit for you. Check out our list of openings now. Keep up with your investments and market trends by watching the ABC7 Stock Report. Get a recap of all the day's stock market activity. Be sure to watch your Suncoast News at 6 for the ABC7 Stock Report, sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our Autumn Upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. The number of teens using e-cigarettes is on the decline. 
Fewer middle and high school students used e-cigarettes from 2015 to 2016. That's the first year-to-year -year drop since the CDC started tracking these numbers in 2011. Use of other tobacco products has decreased as well. The CDC says this may be due in part to the FDA's real cost campaign, as well as a crackdown on stores selling to minors, plus fewer places allowing smoking. But more than 4 million young people are in the U.S. are still using tobacco. Time now to check on your first alert traffic for the drive home. Right now, US 41 is backed up a little in the north and southbound lanes just south of Bee Ridge Road in Sarasota. Also, a big road closure on the Sun Coast to tell you about. Harbor Drive on Venice Island will be closed tomorrow morning from 7.30 to 9.15. This is for the annual Venice YMCA Triathlon. Now your ABC 7 first alert weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Good afternoon. We are here live at Lakewood Ranch. Uh, music on Main. Uh, this is the first uh, Friday of the month, September 1st. They're getting ready to perform here in just a little bit. And I'll tell you, the weather couldn't be better. As I mentioned earlier in this newscast, storms are well away from this particular area and should stay that way. Last night, I had an opportunity to go see my wife give a wonderful speech at the Ritz, uh, making strides against breast cancer, and my daughter was on hand as well. The actual walk is the 28th at Benderson Park. Again, there's a nice little photo. We had a good time out there. And Susan did a great job uh, talking about her recent experience with breast cancer. And a lot of people have had issues, obviously, uh, over the years. It seems like more and more. Art Conforti getting some great sunset pictures. So Fred Seeger as well. That was last night. Send your photos into pics at mysuncoast.com. And we'll try to get them on the air tonight. Uh, as far as the maps go, we're looking at the Van Wazel webcam at this time out here. And it's showing uh, some high cirrus clouds coming in. A few minutes. There's some big storms coming in uh, from the Gulf, but those aren't going to be here tonight. Uh, there's one isolated cell that's uh, well out of our area now uh, over northern Manatee County and uh, hadn't had a drop of rain here at all. Uh, get a look at that radar, though. The remnants of Harvey still causing problems throughout Tennessee and Kentucky uh, this evening. It left behind a little line of low pressure, if you will, out in the Gulf of Mexico, and that line of low pressure continues to be uh, the impetus uh, for showers and storms out there, creating some high surf. A uh, rip current advisory is in effect for coastal waters up and down our coast. Now, we are anticipating these showers and storms to continue to uh, make their way closer to the coast, but it really won't happen until Saturday. We are expecting showers and storms to be increasing on Saturday. That rain chance really popping up rather high throughout the day. A live sweep of the radar uh, showing some inland storms near Arcadia and near Wachula and north now into Hillsboro. Nothing going on here at this point. The satellite imagery shows a large cluster of clouds out there in the Gulf of Mexico, again associated with that line of low pressure left behind uh, from what was Harvey as it makes its way through now, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, and eventually on to Ohio. Well, uh, as far as our current conditions go, it's hot. It's 89 degrees, but the dew point remains very warm here and temperatures up and down the coast into the upper 80s near the coast, low 90s inland. Saturday's forecast does call for some showers and storms. I mentioned that line out there in the Gulf and then uh, less amount in the afternoon, but we'll still see some around with those showers and storms being rather prevalent. Uh, and some of those could produce some locally heavy rainfall. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as we make our way through time. Good news on Irma. It's still way out there in the Atlantic, having no impact on land. And notice that last frame there starts to bend a little bit more toward the northwest. So the European had it staying more westerly, where the GFS, which is the U.S. model, showed this curve earlier. And now the European is starting to agree with the GFS. So that's a good thing for uh, the United States forecast model there. The satellite imagery enhanced continues to show a well-defined system, although it's been moving over some relatively cooler waters today. It's not nearly as tense intense as it once was, and it looks like uh, we'll continue to see uh, this storm march off toward the west in time uh, throughout the day. The boating forecast looks to be okay. Uh, again, the boating forecast should not be an issue tomorrow, except in, in the uh, area of showers and storms uh, that do develop along that. And as far as the pictures go, here's a look at some of the uh, great fishing pictures that were sent in. Uh, well, we'll get to the seven day first and then we'll show you those fishing pictures. The rain chances uh, decreasing a little bit on Sunday and then on Labor Day uh, down to 40% as we move through time. Now, high temperatures will stay into the low 90s uh, right in and through. There's a 19 inch flounder at the Point of Rocks caught by Lewis. And then Brett Whalen of uh, Walt's Fish Market 
He uh, caught these nice pompano uh, with Diana Page and uh, Steve Herrick took some folks out fishing and they caught some nice snook. Snook season officially opens today, by the way, and goes through November 30th. That's Mike and his son Connor uh, with some nice fish, as you see uh, right there. And then Steve Herrick of Beach Fish Adventures also catching a keeper snook right with inside that slot. Again, up to 33 inches. That one a 32 inch, so he couldn't keep it. He caught that yesterday or maybe a few days before that, but nonetheless, he was out there catching pompano today. I want to tell you about the William Moat Memorial Teach a Kid Fishing and Ecology Clinic that's coming up uh, and not too long from now. So you want to go to their website and sign your ch uh, child up anywhere from, again, I think five to 14 years of age. Uh, they'll get a free rod and a free reel as well as uh, great lessons there. The $10 includes lunch. It's always a wonderful program. It's out at the Moat Aquaculture Center located east of I-75 on Fruitville. Got some nice fans here too. This helps uh, keep you cool. The first alert weather team right there. We're here for you. And uh, a lot of people are here for some good music, which will be coming up right around six o'clock. Back to you guys. Thank you, Bob. If you don't have a fishing license, you can still go fishing this holiday weekend. Governor Rick Scott is announcing that tomorrow will be a license-free saltwater fishing day. This Saturday is part of eight total license-free fishing days offered every year by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Gulf Recreational Red Snapper and Gray Triggerfish seasons will also be open this Labor Day weekend. Volkswagen is still trying to regain customers' trust following the emissions diesel cheating scandal. Now the company is planning to resell most of the cars involved in the incident. Last year, Volkswagen agreed to pay more than $15 billion to settle criminal charges and civil claims related to the sale of nearly 600,000 cars with defeat devices that were designed to beat U.S. emissions tests. The first batch of retrofitted vehicles includes new 2015 models that went unsold. The higher mileage vehicles will be scrapped. Lyft is turning up the heat on its rival Uber. Lyft is now extending its service to passengers in 32 more states, including hard-to-reach rural areas. The move boosts the number of states with full coverage to 40. Uber, which controls about 70% of the U.S. ride-hailing market, says it has near statewide coverage in just 13 states. It's, uh, they're getting some competition. For the longest time yeah. there, we thought Uber had just right. totally cornered that market, yeah. a monopoly, but not anymore. I think competition's good for, Always for, all, is. for all of us, right? Yes. Entertainment news is next. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. What if you had a medical emergency away from home? My chest hurts. I can't breathe. What you need is Mobile Help, America's premier mobile medical alert system. Most systems only work at home, but with Mobile Help, you get help outside the home with coverage nationwide on one of the largest cellular networks at the press of a button. Call the number on your screen for a free full color brochure. We'll send you everything you need, including this base station, the patented mobile device, and the waterproof pendant and wrist button. You can also add the fall button that automatically detects falls and signals help. Call today and receive a risk-free 30-day trial. There is no equipment to buy and no long-term contract. For a limited time, you will also receive a free emergency key box with your planned purchase. Remember, mobile help keeps you safe coast to coast. Call 1-800-916-8638. That's 1-800-916-8638. <laughs>
Who else has been taking your prescriptions? Keep your medicine and your family safe and secure. Mind your meds. To learn how we can help, visit the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids at drugfree.org. Get all the local information you need before you leave home in the morning. Watch Good Morning Sun Coast weekdays on ABC7 to get breaking news, plus first alert, weather and traffic focused on where you live. ABC7, we're here for you. Put your brush to capturing my wife. Tulip Fever is the only new movie opening in theaters this holiday weekend, but it's in moderate release. The film is only showing in about 600 theaters. And it's not really new. The historical drama was shot three years ago, and its debut was delayed several times. A superhero is making kids smile at a Hurricane Harvey shelter in Texas. Spider-Man visited with evacuees inside the George R. Brown Convention Center earlier this week. Shelter organizers say a lot of families left their homes to escape Harvey, of course, without anything to keep the kids distracted so children at the shelters could use things like toys and books and caring people who are willing to entertain them, bring them some smiles. So that's pretty cool. That's neat. Very nice. A superhero. A, a real yeah, superhero. That's a real, real life. Right there. Yeah. We'll be right back with more news. Stay with us. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Will you qualify for a medical-grade back brace? Call Back Brace America at 1-800-683-9262. 